are for those of you that are coming from a traditional Canon mirrorless system, the Canon R5C definitely is the most unique stepchild of the bunch. The Cine system in the menu on this Canon R5C is so different from anything you'll experience in the Canon R5, R6, R7, R8, whatever you're coming from, that it definitely is one of those cameras that I think you will be surprised to discover some of the hidden tips and tricks that the camera can do. Now, we'll say a lot of the tips and tricks that I am gonna to cover today, I have actually made videos that cover them more in depth and extensively, and I'll make sure I put links above it here when I'm talking about it, but I thought it would just be helpful for you to see kind of all these things kind of in one video, just so you can kind of get your head wrapped around what this camera can and can't do. Oh, and if you do find this useful, do me a favor and please, please, please hit that subscribe button down there. It makes a huge difference to me and I'm gonna keep on making content like this and keep the channel going. So that brings me to my first tip and trick here for the Canon R5C that you absolutely have to know if you wanna use this camera, and that is a battery hack that basically lets you greatly extend how long this camera can run. It's no secret the Canon R5C, the software in here, is terrible with batteries, but did you know there's something you can do that will nearly triple your battery life on a single battery and it all comes down to one button? Let me show you the trick. So if you look here on the back of my camera display, you can see I only have 42 minutes on my battery in this Canon R5C. But check this out. If I sit here and hit the media button, and now look what happens to the battery power. Boom, now it jumps up all the way to 108 minutes, more than double nearing into the triple range. Now, the other benefit of having this hack, not only does it greatly extend your battery life, but the good news is you don't have to cut the camera off. So that means I can literally hit the button and you'll see I literally can jump within a second and I'm back in video mode. So if I'm in between takes, I just hit that media button, I know that I'm saving my battery power. When I'm ready to go, I can hit that button within a second, I'm ready to go and I can instantly start recording. Super awesome hack. One I would recommend if you're using a Canon R5C, you incorporate in your practices. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about on the Canon R5C that is very, very different, that took me some time getting used to, is the autofocus. And more importantly, getting your tracking right on the Canon R5C, because it is very different than the other Canon mirrorless lines, which are so just kind of naturally intuitive. Now, if you look here, you'll see I've got a shot here of Bob, and if I bring up my menu, you'll see I do have face detect and tracking on. And if I come over here, you'll see I've got continual autofocus enabled. My AF frame, I'm gonna put on small here, just so it's nice and small. But if you'll see, the problem is, I've got Bob tracked, but what happens if I wanna pull focus here and tap on my tripod? I can't do it. It's just completely locked on Bob, and it won't get on a non-human subject. I found this incredibly frustrating. So let me show you to fix it so you have the freedom to get both human and non-human stress subjects in tracking, and you can also use this touchscreen on the back. If you think I'm gonna come here to the menu, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to AF frame, and here is the key. I'm gonna set it to whole area. Now when I set it to whole area, you will see I can actually touch on the back, and boom, I can jump on my tripod, or I can jump on Bob there. It doesn't matter what I can do. It'll let me have whatever I want. This was a huge, huge game changer. Solved so much of the frustration I have with the Canon R5C in the autofocus. The other tip I'd like to point out, if you're an EVF shooter, this is kind of can be kind of frustrating because if you're using this, the back screen goes off and you can no longer touch and drag. Let me show you a way to fix that on the Canon R5C. And it actually does with a custom button. So I'm gonna come here and if you'll see, I'm gonna come over to my custom buttons menu and then you will see I've taken one of the buttons on the top and look at this. There is an option there called tracking. Really awesome. So now what happens if I do that, if I hit that button, look at this, you'll see a little set of arrows come on and you can go now and put on that and boom, you can do it. And what's great about that is I can get that. If you'll look, even though I'm in my EVF, I can now get a custom point, get it, boom, I'm good to go. EVF if I want to do it like that, touch screen if I want to do it on the back. That is a really helpful trick for autofocus on the Canon R5C. If you want more in depth, I've got a tutorial up here. Okay, so the next tip and trick on the Canon R5C that I find <laughs> unbelievably helpful is the face only focus feature. Now check this out. While a lot of you are familiar with face priority, face only means that if the face that you're tracking gets out of the screen, the camera won't hunt. And that means you can have something like this, or if I jump out of the screen, 
the camera won't be follow focusing, it won't be hunting, and then I pop back in and it'll only focus on a human face. This is really, really good for getting dynamic shots, especially when characters walking in or out of frame, and you just want the camera not to go jumping and hunting for random things when you lose that subject. A very helpful trick, and if you look, you come in this menu, you can set it from face priority to face only, and you will be good to go. Okay, so this tip is actually pretty well hidden in the menu system, but it's something I guarantee you, you're going to use on every shot you ever take with this camera. And that is the hidden electronic level that exists inside this camera. Let me show you how to access it. As you can see here, this is my setup. And as you can see, I'm not getting any information about how level this camera is on both tilt or roll. Now, this is something that I absolutely wanna know. So if you come here in the menu button into the monitoring setup, come on over to the fifth menu, and buried all the way down there, you will see custom display one. If you click on that, come down and you will see something called level. And this is where it gets good. You can either set a tilt and roll, a roll or tilt. I'll show you the tilt and roll just so you can see that. And so now when I come back here, you will see now I have some levels that are built in. So if I tip back, you can see the ball come back up. And more importantly for me, if I sit there and have a canted angle, I can sit there and bring the ball back right in the middle. Very, very useful. Now, one thing I tend to do, honestly, is I don't really need to tilt that much, so I will just do just roll. So as you can see here now, I just have the roll meter in there, which is very useful. This is something I literally use on every shot. I think it's something that if you get, you're gonna be really, really happy that you have it. Okay, so my next tip and trick is actually dealing with raw recording here on the Canon R5C. We all know the Canon R5C can do some incredible 8K recording, but let's be honest, 8K in this day and age, sometimes it's just a little too much. You might want a couple extra pixels, but 8K takes up all your hard drive space. Wouldn't it be nice if there's an intermediate like 6K? Well, luckily on the Canon R5C, you can absolutely shoot 6K raw on the camera. Let me show you how to set it up. You need to come over to the recording media setup, and when you see sensor mode, change it from full frame to super 35 millimeter cropped. And when you do that, we'll change our recording format to any of the RAWs. I'm just gonna do, let's do RAW HQ. And now look at this. You will see the main resolution reads at 5952 by 3140, a 6K image. It just gives you a chance to get all the benefits of the extra pixels and the RAW settings while saving you some hard drive space and maybe some money and storage costs down the road. All right, the next tip and trick that I really, really love about the Canon R5C that for me at least was a bit of a surprise coming from the Canon R5 was the touchscreen controls that are built here in the operating system. So let me show you how to use them in case it's something you're not used to seeing. And that's here, if you look at the back screen of your camera, you'll see this little icon in the bottom left corner. If I hit that, you will see I can control a lot of the main motion parameters I wanna get on my camera. It's super intuitive, I wanna change my shutter angle, I can do it very, very quick. And now it's really nice to have access to that really fast on a touch screen. There's actually another way to display this that I found really, really useful for speed purposes. And if you look here, once you come in this touch screen menu in the top left corner, if I hit that button, you will now see a sort of black magic design kind of simplified layout of your readouts. And this gets you all of the major things. So let's say I'm in super 35 cropped right now. I wanna go back to full frame, boom. I'm good to full frame, super easy. I can swipe over, you can see I'm still in raw. Maybe I wanna go back here real quick to 422, okay, I'm good to go. Make sure I'm in C-Log 3, 24 frames a second. Just a really, really fast way to get through all of the fundamental things I wanna get. It's also really nice, just like right before you start shooting, you can hit this button and just kind of double check and make sure all your project settings are good to go. It's just a quick, fast visual confirmation. Not gonna completely change your world, but I do find it a nice tip and trick that I really, really do like here on the Canon R5C. Okay, and my next hidden trick that I think is really something that, it's a pretty known thing, but I think a lot of people out there just kind of forget that it's there, and it's an absolute, in my opinion, game-changing facet of the Canon R5C and the Canon R5, believe it or not, and that is that the Canon R5C does have a dual base ISO. So that means you have an 800 ISO, but if you're in a dark area and need to boost up your signal, if you put it at 3200, that's the dual base ISO, you'll instantly get clean noise floor, be good to go, and now you're shooting from that 3200 base. I find that so, so helpful, not only if I'm shooting in dark environments, but even if I'm shooting in lit environments that I've been controlling, 
I can use my lights at lower power or maybe I don't have all the big lights. Having that ability and that flexibility to have a 3200 second base ISO is an absolutely wonderful tip and trick that if you're not using it, you need to start incorporating it because it's gonna change how you shoot on the Canon R5C. All right, so there you go. Those are my top little hidden tricks of the Canon R5C, but I do wanna have one more bonus tip. And I'm gonna put this as a bonus tip just because it does require one small, tiny piece of gear to fully unlock it. And that is this. We all give the Canon R5C so much grief for its power consumption. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It actually does a really, really good job on power consumption. The problem the Canon R5C isn't the amount of battery power that it draws, it's actually the battery itself and the Canon software on how it utilizes. So I wanna show you one last tip and trick that I think could really help you on the Canon R5C. And that is here on the top of the Canon R5C, I have a small rig V-mount plate put here on my camera. And what I love about this, I did a whole video about it, I'll have a link up there. I can take a little micro mini V-mount like this, I can plug it in super easy here with a small USB-C cable, and I can power my R5C all day long. I just came from a shoot where with one battery up here, a 99 watt hour battery, I got 10 hours on one battery on the Canon R5C. So what I recommend, if you are using the Canon R5C and don't wanna ever have to worry about battery power again, this little addition, it's super cheap, will make your life so much better and really take away all the headaches you'll ever have on the Canon R5C. Anyway guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Please leave me notes and comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.